Hey guys, I thought I'd give you a full tour of the before and after of the side garden. Um, I'm not sure how many before pictures I have of this area, but this was an area, as you can see, that was just all sand and eroding. So we decided to put some dead nettle or a lamian in here. And of course our irrigation boxes are there, so eventually it'll grow over it. And they are suffering a little, just slightly, um, because of uh, the neighbor had had two pears that they took out, so they're no longer shaded. So we're trying to baby them along and they seem to be recovering. So they're in the recovery process right now and they're perking up and they're getting used to it and we're hoping that it'll fill in and it'll stop eroding. We put some, oh boy, I always forget if it's Irish or Scotch moss, which is the lighter one, but it's one of them. They're basically the same plant. One's darker and one's more uh, a chartreuse color um, here and more lamian over here which we're hoping will fill in along here which again no grass will grow because it's too shaded so we're going to have that fill in so we have problem areas too and then of course this was the makeover i hope you're not getting tired of seeing the side garden but this was one of the big projects we did we moved thousands of pounds of rock um, field stone um, cobbles all kinds of stuff we planted bulbs uh, we we put in the arborvitaes which used to be fetinia here climbing hydrangea and this is just a quick after and then i'll put up the before pictures at the end if you'd like to see what it looked like before um, it can be kind of inspiring to know that even I'm 52, my husband's a couple years older than me, and we did all of this ourselves, every bit of it. And I believe it took us about five days to do it of total work. Um, we are determined once we start a project. Um, and then of course to go to the crawl space under the house, we did another path. We mirrored it on the other side over here and then of course we took the path all the way up this was all just a sharp going downhill so we did add soil we had obviously pea gravel um, we amended all the beds um, with cow manure and we planted all this and um, this Zen garden, the, the garden where the red stone is, was here. Um, we did that several years back with the fountain and this is our favorite place to sit and listen to the fountain. And I'll show you from the other end and then we will uh, put up some pictures of the before. So this was just a quick tour of the whole thing before we started. Or, I'm sorry, not before, after we started. I was trying not to trip there, so <laughs> it's hard to walk and talk at the same time. And so this is the entranceway to it. And of course our neighbor's house is on the side. Eventually the burning bush will grow and we'll have some greenery along the wall there, um, dividing the two yards. But I left the path because you know that we can still see our neighbor which is really nice she's very sweet and of course this is the zen garden area that is at the beginning of it okay so we will show you the before